My name is Armin Tejali. I am a professor at the University of Utah, Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. I am leading the, uh, a lab which is uh, called Laboratory of Circuits and Systems, LCAS. In that laboratory, we are developing uh, integrated systems for applications uh, including information technology, applications such as high-speed communication, like 5G and wireless communications, as well as high-performance, high-speed, and energy-efficient computation systems. Information technology has progressed a lot during the past 10, 20, 40 years. We can do a lot of things that we could not do in the past, but still there are very, very specific and hard problems that we need to find solution to them, and we have to find proper solution to them. Otherwise, we won't be able to go back to society and offer the benefit that they can take from that, um, that solutions. One of the examples that I gave, I give generally to my students is about self-driving cars. We don't have a proper or very reliable self-driving car today, mainly because your self-driving car has to collect uh, gigabytes of data, if not terabytes of data, and you have to pass all of that data that you collect from cameras and sensors and so on to your central microprocessor. And the, your microprocessor has to process the data very quickly and come back to you with little delay or latency. The delay between anything that might happen and the reaction of vehicle right, should be minimized. And there is no simple way today to, to pass or collect gigabytes of data and pass them to microprocessor and process them immediately and come back to to, to, to your vehicle. So this is one of the examples that we work in, in our group. In addition to that, we work on very high speed wireless communication systems, systems such as 5G um, um, RF transceivers. So the way that we attack uh, these problems in laboratory of circuits and system is to combine the conventional and traditional ways of designing integrated circuits and chips with more advanced communication and signal processing schemes. So for example, if you have a sensor that collects terabytes of data and sends it to your microprocessor over a communication channel, like a piece of wire, so what happens is that you're going to lose a lot of energy over that communication channel. So now the question is that can we make smarter integrated circuits that can recognize those tiny little signals which have a special pattern, and based on that pattern, they can re reconstruct the whole data. So these are the type of uh, approaches that we take in order to attack those problems. And application is not limited only to self-driving cars. Application could be anywhere, inside your mobile phone, when you are taking pictures, when you are talking to someone, when you are playing a game. Uh, in all the time, you are transferring a lot of data between memory or one of the sensors in your mobile phone and microprocessor. Can we expand the application to all of them and implement something which is very, very useful for our daily life? Yeah. So a lot of uh, a lot of students, because computer engineering looks uh, very attractive, they go to computer engineering, and then when they come and work with us, some of my students are really their background is computer engineering. They say, "Oh, okay, this is not something different from computer engineering." First, and second, it's a bit more fun because. Not only you do all those programming stuff and so on, but also eventually you're going to make a hardware. And that hardware is mimicking all those computer programming algorithms, whatever you, you want to call them. So they really like it at the end of the day. What makes uh, our work um, very attractive to students is that they can, um, they can combine their skills as a uh, computer engineer or software engineer with hardware implementing integrated circuits that can do whatever they wanted to do with softwares at much higher speed, lower cost, and lower energy consumption. And at the same time, they can see the, see the outcomes. They can fabricate it and measure them in lab. So they can, they can see both aspects of their work.